be ready 10 seconds to go start honorable members it is a constant endeavor of my government to ensure that benefits of entrepreneurship are availed by every section in the country under schemes like hunar hat and ustad not only the skills of lakhs of crafts persons are being developed but employment opportunities are also being generated under these schemes women crafts persons comprise more than half of the beneficiaries these crafts persons are being connected to the global market through e hat women entrepreneurs have a vital role to play in building a self reliant india my government has taken several steps to provide new opportunities for self employment to women under the mudra scheme more than 25 crore loans have been sanctioned so far of which nearly 70% have been given to women entrepreneurs under deen dayal antyodaya yojana rashtriya gramin aajivika mission more than 7 crore women entrepreneurs have become a part of the network of nearly 66 lakh self help groups in the country these women groups have been provided bank loans worth rupees 3 lakh 40000 crore in the last 6 years keeping in mind the health concerns of working women in rural areas of the country the government is implementing the suvidha scheme under which sanitary napkins are made available at a nominal cost of rupees 1 my government is relentlessly working towards protecting the health of infants and pregnant women through various initiatives like rashtriya poshan abhiyan free checkups and financial assistance to pregnant women as a result of this the maternal mortality rate has declined from 130 per lakh in 2014 to 113 the under 5 child mortality rate has also reduced to 36 for the first time which is less than the world average rate of 39 as my government considers it important to ensure equal participation by women it is providing new opportunities for our sisters and daughters in various fields my government has taken several decisions in this direction such as appointing women in the fighter stream of the indian air force and the military police for the first time as well as allowing women to work in underground and open cast mines during the night shift keeping in mind the safety of the women work on several initiatives such as setting up one stop centers national database of criminals 
emergency response support system and fast track codes across the country is progressing at a rapid pace for women as such honorable members keep keeping in mind the global requirements and challenges of the 21st century the government has announced the national education policy for the first time students have been given the freedom to opt for the subjects of their choice under the national education policy students have also been provided the option of changing their subjects or streams in the middle of a course under the pradhan mantri e vidya my government has developed the diksha online portal as one nation one digital platform for school education ever sensitive towards safeguarding the interests of the students my government has also successfully conducted the jee and neet examinations in order to prevent the loss of an academic year my government believes that the journey of the most deprived sections towards social and economic development begins with access to quality education more than 3 crore 20 lakh such students are benefiting from various scholarship schemes of the government these include students belonging to the scheduled castes backward classes forest dwellers and tribal community and minority communities it is the endeavor of the government to ensure that maximum number of eligible and needy students are able to avail the benefit of the scholarships along with this the central government's share in the funding of post matric scholarship scheme for scheduled caste students is also being enhanced similarly the network of eklavya model residential schools is being expanded to cover every tribal dominated block to facilitate the education of tribal students so far more than 550 such schools have been sanctioned along with improvements in education the emphasis of my government is also on simplifying and streamlining the recruitment process for jobs the youth have benefited greatly from discontinuation of interviews for recruitment to group c and group d posts by setting up the national recruitment agency the government has freed the youth from the inconvenience of appearing for multiple examinations following the mantra of sab ka saath sab ka vikas sab ka vishwas my government is prioritizing the development of all sectors and all sections of the society to alleviate the hardships faced by the vyang jans thousands of buildings public transport buses and railways have been made accessible 
about 700 websites have also been made accessible for the Vyangjans. Similarly, to provide better facilities and equal opportunities to transgenders, the Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Act has been implemented. A development and welfare board development oriented schemes are being implemented on priority by my government in 112 aspirational districts which have fallen behind in the race for development. Stop.